Welcome to the Commander Crew, a Magic the Gathering Commander YouTube channel where we ask the question, who's your commander? We want to thank you for watching our videos. You can help support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and hitting the bell notification icon. You can also go to thecommandercrew.com to check out our t-shirts, masks, pet hoodies, and other Commander Crew goodies. If you want to buy any of the cards seen in this video, be sure to click our TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes below. Lastly, you can help us out by heading to our official Patreon page and becoming a direct supporter of the channel. Now let's, now, go let's get to, to the video. video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Eddie, from the Commander Crew, and today we are going to do a quick take on Ave Progenitor Ooze. So Ave Progenitor Ooze costs two green, 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 for a legendary ooze 2-2 that has storm and a progenitor ooze isn't legendary if it's a token. Ave enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each other ooze that you control. So this card is a commander with storm on it. This is nuts. Um, and I think that we can do some really crazy stuff with it. So uh, let's get into our quick take. So first off, we're going to talk about haste. So if we are going to be storming off and making a lot of creatures, we want to make sure that we can take advantage of those creatures the moment that they hit the battlefield. We don't want to have to fill out fill up our board with a whole bunch of tokens and then wait a turn and give somebody a chance to board wipe our our board state. So as far as haste, there's there's not a ton that we can do in in green, but there's a couple. So first and foremost is crashing drawbridge which is a two mana zero four defender that reads tap it and creatures you control gain haste until end of turn. Then of course, there is a green card that costs one mana called Concordant Crossroads. And basically this gives all of, all of our creatures haste. Now keep in mind with this here, it's a one mana card, so you want to make sure that you use it on the turn that you plan on storming off and putting out your commander along with all of those tokens. Because it's actually a world enchantment, which means it's going to enchant uh, the battlefield, which means all creatures are going to have haste, not just your own. So moving on from haste, we want to talk about ways of being able to uh, kind of storm off and, and cast a lot of spells in, in a single turn. Probably the easiest way of going about doing that is going to be with cheap creatures like Elvish Mystic, Arbor Elf, Findhorn Elves, Land of War Elves, Birds of Paradise, and we can also use some changelings like Universal Automaton. So I personally like the Elvish Mystic and the Arbor Elf and the Findhorn Elves and Land of War Elves and so on and so forth. I, I love these one mana uh, ramp spells because not only are they going to help us to cast our commander, but we're going to be able to put a lot of them out in a single turn. And by putting a lot of them out in a, in a single turn, we're going to be able to uh, go and storm off using our commander. So next up we have card draw. Because we're going to be so heavily based around small creatures like those elves that we talked about, we want to be able to draw cards off of casting these creatures. So one of the best ways to do that is going to be with a card called Beast Whisperer. So Beast Whisperer costs two green green for a two three that reads, whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. This card is amazing in any deck that plays a lot of creatures for obvious reasons. You get to draw a lot of cards off of them. Next one, we have Elvish Visionary, which isn't exactly card advantage, but it is card draw and it is card parity, right? Because it's going to replace itself. It's a very cheap spell as well, which means uh, with that two mana, it could help with our storm count. And when, when you're playing a storm deck, you wanna be able to do one of two things or both of two things, which is play a spell, draw a card, or play a spell, add more mana so that you can play another spell. Um, and this card does, does one of those things, which is play a spell, draw a card. We have some other cards that do this as well that aren't creatures. So we have a card called Charge Through, which is an instant spell that reads target creature gains trample until end of turn, draw a card. Again, another cantrippy type spell that can replace itself and it's going to help us to, to continue to storm off. Then we have Veridicent Wisps, which is another one mana instant cantrip spell. We have Glimpse of Nature, which is a sorcery that actually reads similar to Beast Whisperer. 
where it says, whenever you play a creature spell, this turn, draw a card. Next up, we have Insist, which is another cantrip type spell. One mana, draw a card. Um, but it also reads, the next creature spell that you play this turn can't be countered by spells or abilities. This card is amazing in the deck because they can't counter our, our commander when we go to cast it. Then we have Irresistible Prey. Same thing. Uh, another cantrip spell. This one's a sorcery. Uh, and it reads, target creature must be blocked this turn if able. Draw a card. Then we have Guardian Project, which is a four-mana enchantment that reads whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control. If it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. We're playing Commander. We're very likely not going to have cards that have the same names. So uh, this card works beautifully in this deck. Then we have Abundant Growth, which in this deck is essentially one mana draw a card. But it's going to help with that storm count and it's going to help us continue to cast spells. So next up we have our recast category. So this category is all about finding ways to be able to reuse our spells and get, get things back into our hand to be able to play them again. Because we want to keep that storm count going. We want to be able to continually cast as many spells as we possibly can. So one of the best ways to do that without question is Team or Saber Tooth. Then we have Timeless Witness, which is a new card. It's basically an Eternal Witness, but you can eternalize it, which is really cool because it, it means that you can cast it right out of your graveyard to be able to return a, a card from your graveyard to your hand. Then, of course, we have Eternal Witness. We have Noxious Revival. We have Balaged Recovery. We have Cloudstone Curio, which is absolutely amazing in this deck because it's going to allow us to play a creature, return another one, play another creature, return another one, and so on and so forth, and just keep that chain going. And as long as we have mana, we're going to continually be able to cast spells. Then we have Erratic Portal, which is a four-minute artifact that lets us return a creature back to our hand. And it doubles up as some type of removal, not completely removal, it's a bounce spell, um, but we can, we can bounce our opponent's creatures as long as they don't have any mana to be able to stop us from doing it. Now, after we're done storming off and we've cast our commander, we're going to make a ton of tokens off of our commander. And one way of helping us to make even more tokens is doubling season. And as an extra copy of Doubling Season, we also have Primal Vigor. And then a nice instant way of being able to do a similar thing is going to be Second Harvest, which allows us to create a copy of every token that we already control. Now, like I talked about before, we want to be able to play a spell and either generate mana off of the spell that we played, or we want to be able to replace the spell with a card draw effect. So this one is going to be all about untapping our lands and our creatures that help us to generate mana. So we can play a spell like Early Harvest, which is a 3 mana instant speed spell that allows us to untap all the basic lands that we control. And of course in this deck, it's a mono green deck, we're going to have a ton. Then we have Vitalize, which is a 1 mana instant way of untapping all of our creatures. And as you saw in our cheap creatures category, most of our creatures that we're playing are going to be mana ramp type creatures like Lana War Elves and Elvish Mystic. Then we have Benefactor's Drought, which is a two mana way of doing the same thing, but in addition to untapping all of our creatures, it's also going to draw us a card. Um, but be very careful with this because it does also untap all of our opponent's creatures, so it's going to give them more blockers, so just make sure that you're able, able to overcome that. Then we have Root Awakening, which does a couple of things. Not only will it untap all of the lands that we control for five mana, it can also you can also entwine it and make your lands into uh, creatures, two two creatures, so that you can go in and swing in on your opponents and hopefully win the game. Now we won't always be able to cast just a one drop spell, right? So we want to be able to try and reduce the cost of some of our spells, and one of the best ways of doing that is Rona's Monument. Rona's Monument is a legendary enchantment that's going to allow us to cast green creature spells for one mana less. And then on top of that, whenever we cast a creature spell, 
target creature that we control gets plus two plus two and gains trample once so on end of turn so this is a nice way of being able to swing in on our opponents and get some extra damage in then we have emerald medallion which makes all of our green spells cost one less then we have nissa who shakes the world which does a couple of things one it allows us to tap our forest for an additional mana in addition to that it allows us to untap one of our lands it turns it into a creature but we can still reuse that land lastly in this deck we are going to be running a ton of cheap creatures right so what better way to take advantage of that than a card called Alurin? Alurin allows us to cast any of our creature spells that cost three mana or less at instant speed and without paying its mana cost. So overall, Ave is a monster of a card. This deck is going to allow us to be able to play a ton of creature spells, a ton of spells in general, storm off as much as we absolutely can, and then just overrun the board with a ton of creatures and swing in for the win. So this has been our quick take on Ave Progenitor Ooze. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that bell notification button. And as always, don't forget to check out our website, thecommandercrew.com, where you'll be able to not only see any of our latest videos, you'll also be able to check out our live streams, support us over on Patreon, check out some of our merchandise, as well as support us by per making purchases through TCG Player, Ink Gaming, or even Amazon. And lastly, you can follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and join us over on our Discord server, where we are always playing magic, we are always discussing magic, and we don't charge you. So that's all for today, guys, and until next time, take care.